Shouldn't be on. I'll go check. Yeah, it's on. I don't see it. It'll pop up real live here. Give me a sec. Ouch! <laughs> you okay over there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's see. I don't even know if this is working. Yeah, it is working. We are live. I don't see it on your channel though. Oh, we're live. So. Hello, everybody. What's going on, people? I really don't see it on your channel though. Like, why can't I access it? I don't know. I don't get to be privy to the live? Maybe try and, uh, here, one sec. Hold on, guys. Give us a second here. Oh, it's like really delayed, but maybe that's why? Oh, it's unlisted. That's why. Alright, one second here. I'm saying it's offline. Oh, we're live. Is we're it working? Oh yeah, we're literally live right now. Oh, hello everybody! Okay, what what's happening? Alright, we're officially live right now. Okay, yes, I see you. Alright, can everybody see us okay? Yeah! Alright, so we made our way to a haunted caboose and we're spending the night in here i'll show you guys around we're just gonna set this up here use my phone here okay There we go. How's everybody doing today? You can see my little feet tapping. It's all you see of me. There you Hello. go. Here's Chelsea, everybody. I'm here. I'm just being lazy. She's in this one, so. All right, so pretty much we're going to give you guys a rundown. This is a haunted caboose. We had word from... A woman, she emailed us, said she saw a shadow figure in this caboose, so we rented it. I'll get on with the story in a bit, but yo, we're here right now, and it's kind of nerve-wracking, not gonna lie, but it's cool. It's cool. Really historic and all that jazz, so. Let me move here so you guys can see chills. There we go. Pretty comfy on this futon. We'll wait for more friends to get in and then we'll show everyone around. We haven't even explored it ourselves. I've been itching to explore it, but Lamar wanted to start the live. So we're doing that and then we're gonna explore it. I'm super pumped. Super yeah, this is pumped. dope, so. Okay, let's see here. The doggie is actually with her grandparents for the first night ever. This is our first night in two months where we haven't spent it with Kia. I'm struggling already. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah. I miss her. I have but... separation anxiety, I feel, from her. But she's with my, with my parents, so she's good. She's with grandma and grandpa. Yeah, she's getting spoiled <laughs> with the grandparents. Yeah. Alright, so can everybody see us okay? I think we have a clear visual. Someone comment real quick. If you can hear us and see us okay. Yanara said yes. Okay, perfect. Big action papa said yes. Alright, so yo, let's see. Give everybody a rundown. We are completely live right here. I'll show you guys. Okay, right? No, let's do it from the start. Okay. Okay, guys, are you ready? Alright, so this place is actually so cool. Oh, I got up too quick. I'm busy. Alright. So. 
This is the outside of our car. That's all you're seeing right now. Then we're gonna go in. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to take you there. I don't know either, <laughs> but that's okay. But this is the little living room. Then, this is my favorite part. Are you guys ready? The original conductor chairs. Yeah, like which the OG, so cool. which is so good up here. They actually still have like all the old handles. Like here, wait. You can climb up this and everything too. Like, so here. <laughs> I don't think you can pull that. Yeah, I, I don't think you can pull it. Wait, watch out. What is it? Oh, so if you need to wash the window, I got you. <laughs> if you need to wash the window. That's yeah, look at that. Very so cool. apparently, a woman saw a man in a trench coat in this exact caboose and emailed it to us. So we came to that. We're like, yo, we gotta check it out. And it does give off a little bit of a weird vibe. And tonight we're gonna investigate for him, or to see him, I should say. The hell is happening here? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what everyone's saying here. So, All right. Why don't you just use my phone? Okay. It's probably a lot easier. That sounds good. So. Ooh, I'm a hungry bumblebee. Also, that has the data on it, so okay, it's so got to stay close to the camera. Close this here. Saying hello, hello. Yeah. Your live chat's like not working. You know what? It's because. Gotta go live. Okay. All right. Awesome. Everyone is still here. Everyone is still good. Yes, yes, yes. Slim, I'm not sure what is happening. Me neither, to be honest. All right. Shall we go explore? Yeah. I hope this doesn't cut out. We're going to try our best. Stay on the line if it does. I am using my GoPro again, which is sometimes leggy i don't know for sure if it's gonna hold up but we'll do our best oh the screen's blurry give us a sec all right don't go too far from the the data okay so these are all the original train cabooses so we are in this one. Show them. Yeah, there's like several here you could actually... Like I know this one here is like a dining car, which isn't open right now because everybody took advantage of it. Well, it's just closed because of, it's And closed. COVID too. No, the dining car's not closed. No, not the dining... That, sorry, the hangout the car. The lounge. You can That's like the lounge or whatever. So apparently they closed it for COVID or whatever. Everyone used to come in and just hang out in there, so they closed it. But we were going to originally ask them to investigate it, but we aren't going to push them too much. Wait, I, I th think it was... Happy birthday, Lori. That's awesome. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Oh, awesome. Thanks for joining us on our live stream on your birthday. That's so sweet. So yeah, this is the lounge car. Um, closed because of COVID, like you just said. Let's see if you could yeah. actually... I think you can probably peek in. We'll see why not. No, they have some sort of. Is it blinds up? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hey. Oh, what is that? So it's um. Oh, those, cool. Those are just plants. Like the roots of something. Yeah, they're. I think they're bulbs. I'm sick. I just want to catch up on some of the um, comments. Oh my god, 31, you're not even old, Lori. You're not even close to old. 31 is still young. Still so very oh, young. Oh yeah, super young. I wonder though, what if the guy, the shadow figure, hangs out in the other cars too? I mean, he could, I mean. You know what I mean? She yeah. said he was in like period clothing. I mean, if he is like residual or anything, he might have access to like, if he had memories in any of these, to go in any of them, right? Yeah. Like you can still see the curtains and everything too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. On the food dishes, 
Look at that. Thank you, Big Action Papa. Freaking love that name. Big Every Action time Papa. Anytime you comment, I just need to read it because Big Action Papa, I just find that like the coolest name. 10 out of 10 name. Love it. Wow, there's even some on that side too. Yeah, so like we were saying, this is all original. Um, they made it look so that it was just frozen in time. Like there are actually people who do live in this little town who've come here and said like they've experienced it as a child and it's like walking into a time warp, you know? Yeah, it kind of is. It definitely is. Like, what did you read in the binder? So I think this whole train uh, carried people from Pier 21 in Halifax, which basically means like people came from, um, where was it? What? Uh, from a different country or whatever, yeah, they immigrated were here, and this train took them, so. And it actually took soldiers as well. Yes. So. It carried soldiers across the country. There's like some wicked history too. And the soldiers would stay in here for weeks on end sometimes traveling, right? That's what they said, right? Yeah. There's got to be like some sort of energy too. It's not promoted online, but this is like circa 19 or 1887 yeah to be specific and you want to know something really cool too is the so this place is actually going to be demolished when it closed down in 1960s i think yeah um and an 18 year old bought it while all of his friends were buying cars in high school because what you're in grade 13 I mean, at the I time i would do that um he bought himself a whole train station like that's so cool. Good for him. If he didn't buy this, it would be gone right now. A piece of history would be gone. Whoa. You know? There's someone in that? I literally just no, heard it. No, it's closed. Remember the guy said the dining car is closed on Did you Wednesdays? hear that though? I heard that, yeah. You guys must have heard that too. It was like walking in there or knocking. Yeah, that was a movement. I wish we can get in that one. See if anyone Hold on. I'm going to see if I can pop this up. You ready? I don't know if you guys can see that. Might be a little bit blurry. I don't know. That was weird. That was really weird. Sorry, I'm just trying to read some of the comments. Um, we do care, Sophie. Just sometimes we aren't able to see all of the comments. We care about all of the new people who come to watch our channel. We love all of you. Old, new, young, hip, cool, whatever. We love all of you. Trust me. All of you. Um... Hi, Sam. You don't have to say it's your birthday just so we'll say hi. We'll say hi to you, Sam, no matter what. Sam Sensor. I know Sam's a common name. Um, Annette asked, did you already announce what was different in the other video? No. Shall we? Okay, so recently, I mean, I, I think... I announce Okay, it. all right. I'll just... Sorry. Announce it. Okay, so pretty much you guys had all really good guesses. Some of the main guesses were no, we're not married uh, yet. Or pregnant. Yeah, we're not pregnant not pregnant <laughs> um so yeah we're just gonna announce it so pretty much our goal is for me to start editing more of the vlog channel edits so that last video was actually completely edited by me Usually, on the vlog channel on the vlog channel yeah not the main channel i cannot do that type of editing but um usually it's lamar who does the editing for both channels and it's been a lot on him so i'm trying to step in and now take over for the vlog channel for editing yeah, which you're doing a great job yeah i mean none like, of you that guys, was that was pretty good none of you guys noticed the difference so obviously my learning is all from lamar so that's why our styles i mean she's got the, the basics pretty yeah. good right now so that's yeah. good but it was fun i mean back in the day when i was younger i actually used to do a lot of editing for videos and stuff and i'd like give it to gifts as my for my parents or whatever it's always been in my bones so but yeah that's the thing that was different yeah let me know if you guys caught that, by the way. Thank you for all the sweet comments, guys. Can you guys still see okay? Seems to be clear on our end. Thank you, thank you, everyone. You know, no, I've noticed they are better. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Some weird comment. Okay, let's not put that out there. Okay, let's keep walking. Oh, let's show them this car. Well, there are people in that end. I wonder if that was who we saw or heard. Oh, maybe. Could have been. 
Yeah, we haven't explored the property yet either, but there's a lot of cute like little knickknack stuff. Like look at that. Let's go shopping. Sorry if we're a little all over the place. It's really exciting. Tatamagoosh. Yeah, we're here in Tatamagoosh right now. It's a little bit outside of Halifax by a few hours. But we asked the front desk, the guy who's working there right now said some of the staff do witness stuff in here. This is like the main train station, as you guys saw. Um, Sam says Andrea and I are getting married on June 10th. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Oh, really soon. Yeah. Congrats, yo. That's in a couple of weeks. That's awesome. Um, oh, they got like an old thing there. Look at that. It's like an old wagon. Oh, it's all like the old style luggage. That's cool. Whoa, look at this thing. That's like really old. It's probably used from the time. So this place was operated from the 80s or the 1880s until 1960 and then everyone used to transport like cars and supplies through the trains and then it went abandoned at one point and then that's when I think the yeah. guy bought it. So it was abandoned in the 80s. Um, Earth been Angel cool. asked, uh, she came in late or they came in late so they're just wondering where we are. We're at a train station inn and yeah, we're sleeping the night in a haunted caboose. Um, also, I just want to say, like, yeah, we can't really see the chat. The only way we can see the chat right now is if I'm reading it on the phone, just because we're doing the live stream off of our GoPro. Yeah. So is we it don't still have... clear, though? Because it's clear on here, it's but like... when I look on the phone, it's a little bit... It takes the quality away when I'm trying to, you know, stream on such a high resolution. Like, this is supposed to be 1080p right now. Sometimes it will buffer. Some people are saying no buffering. Um, oh, Maria. Hi, Lamar and Charles watching you from the from Philippines. From the Philippines. What's up? Kamusta? Kamusta? Um, no, Mahalikita. Ma Mahalikita. Yes. Love the old vehicle in the background. Yeah, that is cool. James has a good idea to put the K2 meter up to the chest on the luggage cart. We don't have it, oh, with, don't us, have it with us, but in right our now. investigation. Well, we do, but it's yes. all the way. So Over James, there. when you're watching the main channel video, know that we put the K2 up there for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the weird thing is though, like promoted online, like this place, like there's no paranormal talk of it. We only had that email sent to us, which kind of prompted us to come here. Can you hold this? I want one. What are they? I don't know, they're, they're surprise bags. Surprise bag? Okay guys, let's pick a surprise bag, okay? So, I'm gonna hold the camera. Out of these ones, let's pick, so this one says choose me, this one says pick me, and hello. So, let me know which one you guys want me to choose. It's just like a random bag of goodies, I guess. A mystery bag. If he says third from the left. So. Third from the left. One, two, wait, wait. Third one, from the... two, three. Choose me. The choose this one, Effie? Like this one right here. Mm. Choose me. Everyone's saying choose me. There's two choose me. There's this one and there's this one. So the left one or the right one? Choose me. Left or right, guys? Left. Yeah, Alright, Brian. One. Okay. This is it. I'll be That's back. It. I'm gonna go pay for it. Okay. All right, so I saw this from a mile away. This is turn of the century. We've seen this in so many antique stores, but like, yo, it's some sort of like wicker thing. Like this is probably supposed to be in some sort of asylum. That's so cool. Wow. This place has to be haunted. Maybe one day we can inquire to rent it for a night. I don't know. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah, that's a big bell. It's over here.
Oh wow. Okay, I won't go over there. <laughs> Some guy like eating dinner or something. Oh. Some like pots in here. That's so cool. I've secured the goods. You've secured the goods. Look at this old bench. Looks like oh, a church pew or something. That's what I've been wanting for our condo so bad. Okay guys. So I've gotten the goods. I've secured the goods. Alright, what's in it? Honestly, I have no clue. Okay. Alright. Interesting place. Beautiful place. Ah! I like that comment, Annette's comment. Train and a bag of goodies. Choo choose me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna open it up. All right, what's in it? I feel like it's Christmas. I got a present. Right. Let's be gentle, Chelsea. Be gentle. Oh, this is the blue Whoa. nose. Yo, that's the ship we were trying to find the other day. That's really cool. This is like our signature uh, ship down in the yeah. East Coast. And I think it's actually on one of our bills. I'm forgetting which bill it's on. Canadians, so help me out. This ship, I think it's on the dime. This ship so. was how old? Like 100, 200 years old? Oh, and it's it still old. going. Like people so have bad. kept this boat going. That's really cool. Wow, what a great piece of I mean, history. we were trying to find that at one point and we couldn't. There was like this bay. What you found a website of where the gen uh, oh. the coordinates were of this? Yeah. And we went, and, we and it wasn't fine. there. It was like from last year or so. Yeah, the coordinates were actually from like three years ago. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Oh, a cute little candle. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I can't even smell it. What else do we got in the goodie bag? What's this? Maybe we'll what do some that? of this as like a giveaway. A watch. Oh, watch. Do you wear watches, Omar? Good old oh, that's watch. so cool. Put it on my... Okay, you think that's gonna fit? <laughs> there you go. I mean, it's a cool watch. I feel like it's some sort of granny watch. You have it up, to be like... upside down. That's how you tell time. Upside down, time. yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it kind of doesn't oh, fit me. Look how cute this is. It can hold oh, cool. treats. Hey, you got a new purse. It's Chelsea that's size. That's a nice for yes. <laughs> Oompa Loompa size. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. All right, take this off, though. All right. It's a nice watch. It's kind of too sparkly for me, though. Yeah, maybe we'll do some giveaway stuff with some of this. Here, hold on. Let me set this up here. Um, okay, this is the last one from our little choo choo choose me bag. Thanks for the joke. All right, delicate, delicate. This is so cute. Oh, cool. You got dinner plates too. A dinner plate, it's his Chelsea <laughs> size. I think it's more like just for an espresso. You know, for like a just Oh uh, yeah, morning espresso. Oh I'm yeah. I'm just going to sit here. What's this? It's a candle. Like you, the one you could light? Oh no, it's a luxury. That's cool. Well guys, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I've always loved like these types of surprise bags. I mean, for five bucks, you can't go wrong. Like I got a little purse. Nice. Effie says perfect for crystals. Oh, great. That's a, actually, that's perfect, Effie. I'm gonna do that and keep it in my camera bag. So be safe. Apparently that ship is known to be haunted. Oh, the blue nose? Did you? Look at that. Um, we didn't, I don't think we brought the dazzling rods, did we? I think we did. We we'll might have, have check. not have. I think we did. Um, do you sing, Lamar? You have a great voice. No, I don't sing. But he does serenade me in the car. And he, Elvis style. And he does have a good voice. Hey. <laughs> Yep, that is an espresso mug. I collect teas, cups, and saucers. It's an addiction. <laughs> Hefty. Ooh, from Toronto. Hello, fellow Canadian. Make a candle and put it in a teacup. Very smart oh, ideas. Yeah. Very nice ideas, everybody. See if I missed anyone's comments or questions. Um... 
Thank you so much, Lamar and Chelsea, for mentioning the Philippines. Well, of course. Well, yeah, that's where I'm from. All right. Awesome. Okay, let's continue exploring. Um, what should I do with all my fun stuff? Let's throw it in the car. Then we'll go like okay. check out the other areas here. I checked over there. There's a guy eating dinner. Oh, he's probably just enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself too much, and I don't want to disturb him. So, yeah. Welcome to the train station inn. Oh, I love these church pews. That's so great. Like, what a great idea. I have an idea too. What if we do like a brief investigation in our caboose? That would be cool. We might not. We might. I don't know. But that's an idea. <laughs> One sec. Let me collect my collectibles. Alive, eh? We are live. Good. Good so yeah, pretty much I am from the Philippines. My dad's from there. My mom's from up north of Ontario. So a little bit of both, half and half. Um, I'm ethnically ambiguous. So had so many people thinking I'm Mexican. Um, a lot of indigenous. Indigenous, Mexican. like anything. I can pretty much pass for a lot of things. I'm ambiguous, so yeah. Not the case, I'm a uh, Filipino, if you guys are wondering. That's a nice wheelchair. Turn of the century, baby. It's beautiful. The cane, eh? Oh, it sucks that the cane is all damaged. Yeah. Pretty rusty, too. They also have a pretty cool, like, knickknack store, too. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's you again. Yo, we should pick one of these up. Uh -huh. That's funny. The cool thing too is it's actually like um, the train station actually leads into like a really nice trail. So I think if I'm correct, the trail was actually like the actual route that the train would go on back yeah, in the day. Yeah, they tore the, uh, the rails. Yeah, and then so. they just made a really nice walking path. I find that's a great thing about Nova Scotia is there's honestly so much, like so many different trails and walking paths and stuff, but yeah. So there's some more over there. It's actually so we pretty go busy. See that car too at one point. Yeah, we'll go. I'm just gonna drop this stuff off and then we can head that way. Yo, this is pretty cool. Yeah, you it get is. like a a thing of history. You feel like you're really here. This is like where is it? The lighthouses or the light lamps or whatever. Oh yeah. From the time I think that barn's probably from the time. These are definitely all from that. I just can't believe it. You know, like, what if we catch that man tonight? That'd be pretty cool. I really hope we could. So. You wanna hold it? All right, so. Is the car locked? We are number, or color orange here. I think it's unlocked. Wow. All right, my goodies. My goodies. My goodies. goodies. All right, I'll go. Okay. That's the comments. All right, you wanted to check out the old car, eh? Yeah. See, oh, look at that thing. Like the oh, little... Yeah. What was that what used the, for? I, I don't know. That was used for a little... Used to hold coal? I don't remember. No, it's used to hold little women like you. So you would go in that during that time period. They would put you in there and they would drag you on the end of the train while all the bigger people sat inside. Um... So Karen is asking, where in the Philippines do you come from? My mom was born in, sorry, I'm going to butcher this, but I think it's Cebu? How would you say that? Cebu? Cebu? I don't know. My dad's from Mindoro. So, or yeah, Mindoro. Went to Manila. I think, I don't know if that's, I'm not too sure about the Philippines. I don't, I'm not too comfortable with the areas there, but um, he's from so Mindoro. A couple, people, a couple of people are asking again where Kia is. Um, so Kia's actually at her grandparents tonight for the first night ever of being yeah. away. I'll manage. She's gonna do great. I think it's just more us, more me. 
Yeah, we got to get used to it because we have a few investigation locations where they don't really allow pets. So she's got to get used to it at some point. Yo, look at that. That's so cool. I wonder if that was actually used. Doesn't look like it. Maybe? Maybe. An old Ford? I think it's, I think it's fake. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, by the way, this is, like, all of these cabooses were made by the Intercolonial Railway? Can't really say that. But, yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Um, bunch of people are saying we should do a live investigation. Honestly, you could for a bit. Yeah, either t we'll try tonight or the next location. We can always keep that in mind. I think that's a really good idea, though. Um, Michelle is okay, asking, let's walk up to this. What size shirts do you and Lamar wear? Uh, well, that's so cool. Oh, cute. It fits you back there. Times two. Yeah. This is like a U car. You would have done really well in the 40s or 30s. These are, these are like insanely small. That's. Oh. I didn't touch that. Um, we wear medium and what size shirt do you wear? Someone's asking. XL. XL? Yeah, I usually wear medium and you wear XL. I like them loose. I don't know why I'm answering that question. It's kind of a random question. I don't know. Michelle asked it, so I figured she has a reason to ask it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, Can they squeeze right through there? Sorry, I'm trying to see comments. Are you planning to go to the Fort in Annapolis Royale? Uh, Fort? 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 Is that Fort Anne? I don't know. I forget what fort that is. I know that most of the forts are on our lists. Yeah. Those are those are some spooky places. I think some like that's the one you can book, right? No, that's the one in Cape Breton. Oh, yes. We are going to that one. It's Fort Lewisburg. We're doing that in October. Oh, my That'll God. That'll be part of We're going to take October very seriously this year. So we're going to do, like, a lot of haunted stuff. And as for Rando, I want to do it again. But I want to focus and specialize in the haunted stuff right now. Because there's a lot that mm -hmm. we could do before, you know, all the touristy stuff comes. So try and get that down before traffic, right? But... Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Kind of feels like a mini city, mini town or whatever, right? Um, okay, so someone's asking, I had a question on one of the episodes you made of the Skinwalker Forest. One of the best episodes you made, what happens afterwards? Because the video was abruptly stopped when things got tense. Yeah. Um, well, I made a vlog on that actually too, which after I'll put the link down in the description. And you can go watch that. We do talk about it. It's probably one of the scariest and most unexpected times of our lives. Like we try to narrow it down with animals. We really couldn't. Like there's barely any wild. Like I don't even think there are wild boars here. No, we don't. They're have like any around. Wild boars in the Maritimes. They're from Saskatchewan or Winnipeg or something like that. They're out west. Yeah, they are. There are some in Canada, just not. There are. Not in the east coast. But of I Canada. researched it. So, the wild boars were making their way east from like. Saskatchewan, Alberta-ish. And the last time they were seen was in Quebec. And then someone was like killing them off because they don't want to go east or something. So they were killing these boars in Quebec. They made their way to Quebec. I don't know, maybe there could be a few boars or something. No, there's none down here. You never know though. I Googled They could have, like I Googled it too, but there could have been. But we tried a fox, not a fox, surprisingly. I kind of considered that. But yeah, but. pretty much like what happened after the video was as soon as we got out of the forest, we literally just like booked it to our car and then drove super quick off the road and just, not off the road, but. You just, just drove off the road. <laughs> I just drove really yeah. quick back home and. It was super foggy, like yo. Yeah. You guys gotta watch that vlog because we talked about it, but it was so foggy and we were just like, our hearts were pounding. We we're like, screw this. Like, let's just go. Let's end it off here, but. These are cool, what are these ones? That's Carol. Oh, so this is, uh, I researched that, Boxcar Jimmy. Oh, yes. Right there. That's like a little room or something. Yeah, so these ones you can still all rent. These ones are actually like the Carol and Jimmy, so like the named ones are for more people. Like they can hold, I think, four to six people. Yeah. While the one we're in can only accommodate four. So four. pricing wise too, we'll do a little bit of a, 
review. So Carol was the most expensive one. It's like one ninety nine Canadian. Mm -hmm. um, ours came up to like it was what one eighty. One eighty. One eighty ish. Yeah. I mean they're pretty cool. Like it's it's like a unique stay, right? Yeah, and then it's also nice too. So like we said, they close the diner cart on Wednesdays for dinner, but it's actually going to be open in the morning for breakfast. So we will vlog it. Yeah. That way cool. you guys can see inside the dining cart because that's what I'm really excited for. Plus, it's really yeah. cool to have breakfast on a train. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. I've never really been on, like, I've been on trains, but I've never, like, slept in anything like this. Yeah. Is there a light on in there? Oh, yeah, I think it's rented. Cool. Someone's watching something. Um, Lewis in New Zealand asked, was there a massive storm in Canada? So, yes, actually, actually oh my God, back yeah. in Ontario, where we are from, there was a massive um, storm. It wasn't Apparently a tornado. It was, bad. it was called, oh, I forget. It's like some sort of windstorm. And it seemed really, really bad. Like 14 people died, I think. There was one woman which ended up like on some sort of article. A tree fell on her. Yeah. That's so sad. She was, she was an, like an older woman. She was 74 and she was in her yard and a tree fell on her and then there's it's really upsetting then there's another couple who were just trying to keep safe from the storm and they went in their cottage and a freaking tree collapsed on their cottage and killed them so it was it was a pretty big storm a lot of people got affected by it um yeah, yeah pretty upsetting to be honest i mean what else does our world need right now you know yeah there's already so much going that's on. crazy because i before we moved i was like we haven't had a thunderstorm in like at least 10 years like a good thunderstorm and I just said that. I brought that up to her folks the other day. And it just happened. Like yeah. a storm. Like, I think the last severe one was like in the 2000s or something. For Back storm? in Ontario. We, from had what a, I remember. we had a couple. We had another tornado um, in Ontario. Yeah, a few years I back. I think 2001, it was like a funnel tornado. Oh, back in 2001. Yeah. Honestly, though, tornadoes, storms like that are my biggest fear. Like, my absolute... Yeah. She won't there. watch Twister. No, because my parents <laughs> my parents did this to me, okay? I was super young, and my parents put on Twister. And the dad died in the first 20 seconds of the movie. No, she won't and watch it. The dog almost died. And, like, for me, I have a thing. Like, I'm a huge daddy's girl, and I'm obsessed with dogs. So if a dad dies in a movie and a dog dies... She's got to call her dad. It, yeah, I so call dad, my dad. Are you dad. still alive? Are you good? <laughs> I call my Where? dad right away. And I'm like, Dad, I just, I love you. Whatever, okay? Don't judge me. It's all good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to continue reading these comments and answer more questions. Thank you. Yes, Earth Angel. The storm was called a... Dureco. Dureco. Dure yeah. Um. Yeah, so my, like, a bunch of my friends and stuff still live in Ontario. And one person was saying that they've had no power for almost, like, I think it's three or four days they're going really? on. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is a Dureco windstorm? Honestly, I have no clue. I think it's, honestly, I, I really have no clue, so don't take my word for it. I think it's just like, like a, some sort of wind tunnel storm, I would assume. I, honestly, yeah. I really don't know. Um, we had no power for two days and it was horrible. We're still cleaning stuff up. Yeah. If anyone is from Ontario, I really hope that you were safe in the storm and that your place didn't get affected. Yeah, for real. Because that's really upsetting. All right. Let's continue walking around. What a cool place. Okay, yeah, so Clark said it's a storm with straight line winds. Lisa, I hope that your channel succeeds and that I wish you all the best in that. That's awesome. Congrats for starting your own channel. That's huge. You know who else has to start a channel? You! I'll get there one day. <laughs> Maybe. Let she me... wants to, but... I've been thinking about it. Yeah. But it's... I got other things right now. That's very true. Wow, it is quite peaceful here, though. It very is. Yeah, we should go and check out those. Check out what? Those ones. Those ones? Okay. I think they're rented right now. I didn't mean like walking. Uh. I'm like, hey everyone, <laughs> like, what's up? Do you mind if we just vlog this really quick? What if we uh, set down some equipment and investigate? <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, that's kind of the other thing too. Like I did a lot of research on the spot and not 
a lot of history, like very minimal history. Like I'm not talking about paranormal wise, but there was very minimal history to even research online. Yeah, like we we didn't even know about the um, how these trains actually used to pick up soldiers back in back in the day and everything. Yeah. We only found that out when we got here and it said it in our book. Yeah. Like even the paranormal stuff, I had to dig really deep. There was one, not even here, but like I said, we had an email from a woman who was visiting here last year. And apparently she saw a shadow figure literally in her caboose, the orange one right there. Okay, I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. I'll say this in the main channel, but this woman said it, this guy was in like a trench coat holding a device and she couldn't see the device and his face kind of looked like it was from the time period back then. So you know how people from like the 1800s had this weird, not weird, but like different facial structure. And she legitimately saw him from that window or one of the windows. So. Um, James is asking, won't it be hard to investigate with all the renters? Um, I don't think so. <clears throat> so pretty much how we're going to do it tonight. We'll give you an inside scoop is we're mostly just going to investigate inside of our caboose. Caboose. <laughs> Sorry, I just like that word. Um, and then we're also thinking of possibly going into the woods of the trail that Maybe. the train used to go on to. We're hopefully it won't be too hard with the other renters. No. I don't think it will be. I don't think you can hear. Like it's pretty. It's pretty like soft. when you close the door, it's pretty sealed, right? Yeah. So. That's so cool. I don't know. Like I think we might be in for a treat. I don't know if he kind of switches. He might. But. Um, someone's asking how far this is from Shelburne. I don't know, but let me check for you. I'd say a few hours. From Halifax, it's about two, three, two and a half. Check, I check it. Okay, what's your guess, Omar? I'd say from Halifax, two and a half. Ish. Come on, Wi-Fi. Maybe, I don't know. So, from Shelburne, um, where was that question? I'm so sorry, I've lost the question. Oh, Slim Shavings, how far is this from Shelburne? It is three hours and, and 37, 37 minutes. minutes. 337 kilometers. You are on the fastest route now due to traffic conditions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited. Okay, so this is where, like you can see there, the rail the rails or whatever but it came like all the way through there probably where that path is that makes sense so clark said chelsea my aunt is a medium she's a faithful watcher of you and lamar's streams she said she truly believes you haven't opened up your true potential yet and you'll know when you do so abandoned 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 all right so, so to carry on with that she's still practicing yes yeah, so like there's hold on I'll, hold on i'll I'll let you speak and say, I just want to say this. When you're practicing, like sometimes it's like in and out. You know what I mean? It's like on and off. That's what I've kind of figured out. Sometimes it's there. Some places you get like a hard time connecting and channeling and yeah. she'll tell you. So pretty much I'll tell you. Um, so you guys all know Blake. Uh, if you don't know Blake, he's one of our good friends, family pretty much. But anyways, his dad is a medium and I actually did go see Ken. Um, and Ken did let me know. I think this might be someone's actual property. Yeah, that's not a bad. Um, so Ken did let me know that I am a sensitive. I am able to connect to the spiritual world, which obviously you all know. Um, but even Ken has said that I haven't fully, like, opened up to my full potential. And that I'll get there. It just takes work. To be honest, sometimes it's easier some days than others. I do struggle with mental health, so if my mental health is a little bit on the poorer side, my spiritual abilities are affected. But, so yeah, just a little inside scoop on on yeah. that. It's still a working progress, right? Like, it's like training a dog over time, you get better. It listens, right? Yeah. And I find this stuff so like, if you really think about it the paranormal is one of those things where you have to dabble in it a lot mm -hmm. in order to get better and like experience more <sighs> did you hear that no what did you hear there's a footstep like right there as if someone was just like walking behind yeah it. like literally like right there it's pretty cool okay yeah, yeah. someone's following us i don't know if you guys heard that 
But yeah, if you guys have like any tips, questions, anything about like me personally being uh, sensitive or Lamar being sensitive as well, like feel free to ask. Like I said, I am not an expert. I'm still learning, but I'm more than willing to share so what I've learned so far. If you go onto the vlog channel, sorry for interrupting. If you go into the vlog channel, it's our very first video. That's right. So go onto the men's life. I don't have it in the description, but skip all the way until you see her me. with medium Ken. And he'll tell you apparently we're supposed to be, what was it? It wasn't a baby, but like you were expecting something. Kia, I guess. I guess so. Who knows? I, actually, I kind of want to rewatch that video now that you said it too. Um, but yeah, go watch that. That was my full reading. You can actually hear Ken specifically say all the stuff. Obviously, we cut some parts out because it was a little personal, but... Yeah. What are some of the questions on the live stream? Is it morning or night? <laughs> it is... M what time is it? It's not morning. It is... 7.56. 7.56. ADT. Atlantic date. Atlantic time. Some. Who are you? Oh, I think this is a man who bought... Yeah, this is a man who purchased. He was 18 at the time. Yeah. 16 year old, Ron Joyce, per, uh, purchased a $30 train ticket, leaving him with $5 to his name. Oh wait, no, I think this isn't him. This is a different guy. No, that's guy. a different guy. This is talking about how he invested in his first Tim Hortons donut shop. Oh, Hamilton, Ontario. Very cool. Cool. I'll take the questions back. The Great Trail, Le Grand Sentier. Um, oh, this is a great question. This is from Ethan. This is a really good question, Ethan. All right. Lamar, for you. When are you going to ask Chelsea to marry you? May 23rd, 2028. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I really don't know yet. It's uh, still up in the air. I'm trying to make it like good. I don't just want to be like, you know, in a subway or something like, you know, and pop the question. But it will happen in due time. Trust. Trust. Ready. Um, Yanera asked, have you guys ever done a drunk investigation that you didn't film? Did we? Have we? No, to be honest, I don't drink, like ever. No, you don't drink. I kind of went a little bit, I like I cut out drinking a little bit. We both, honestly, we both don't drink, to be honest. Well, I used to drink a lot, like not like, like bad, but you know, I used to have at least one a night. <laughs> Which isn't bad, but you know, I got a little bit of a pop belly like last year or something. Let's turn around. I don't know if my signal is gonna okay. cut um, out. But yeah, no, we've never really done a drunk investigation. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also I don't, don't really want to like put like myself I'm... online drunk. Like, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't know what I'd do. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I don't smoke weed, I don't do anything. I. Um, Alicia, I took no offense to that comment. I'm not on a diet. I'm anti-diet. Um, I mean, if you're for diets, all for it. I'm just anti-diet. Honestly, I, I don't know what I did. I've just been hiking. Yeah, yo, yo, we've been hiking a lot. Like we, at least bring a Kia. What, like two walks, three yeah. walks? I have changed my diet to be healthier, but I'm I'm not on any type of diet diet. Like I'm not restricting myself. Yeah, I love. My we chocolate, walk man. like. <laughs> yeah, you do like your chocolate, but we walk like like a lot every day. We take at least a kilometer walk. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, I wish I can zoom in right now, but it's like right through the trees. I can oh, hi, baby. Okay. It ran away. Wow, ran away. it hates you. Um, thank you, thank you, Alicia. You're so sweet, and good for you for not being too guys either. That's a whole other topic, but. Yeah. That's society doing that to women, telling women we all need to be on diets, when realistically, no, everybody is beautiful. We live in a world where it's just everybody. like based around marketing, so everything's a market. Like, like, let me just say this, you do not have to be skinny to be pretty. 
No. Nope. Or we don't have to wear makeup. You know, all these advertisements yeah. saying you have to wear makeup to fit in or all that stuff, you know? Yeah. I just find that a lot of women and also men are just so, like, we're so conditioned by society and social media. Yeah. That it's seen that everyone has to be so thin and... And perfect. Yeah. No one's perfect. No one. Everyone is great and perfect in their own way. And that's what makes perfection, perfection. Yeah. Right? Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is so nice. Oh. You. Auxiliaire de Montreal. Le, de Montréal. Frig, I've lost my French over the years, man. I used to be able to almost be like bilingual French. Not close, but I could speak French enough to like have a minor conversation and then it got really confusing after that and I quit. Alicia I have a suggestion for you if you are like wanting to lose weight because I mean obviously COVID weight and everything and it does take an impact on you try like my suggestion is try doing something that doesn't make you feel like you're working out you know try doing something that's fun for you like for me I took up hula hooping for a while or like yeah, rollerblading or you know just do something that gets you outside exercising in a really healthy way mm -hmm. and yeah you know i took up mopeding but instead of the electrical like it was electric but i used the pedals years ago yeah <laughs> i used to have a moped okay you learn something every day about this man i tell you <laughs> i used to have a moped you know save myself gas even though gas was like super cheap back then i used to have a moped you know it was electric plugged it in you know at the grocery store or whatever you know, let it charge for a bit. It's pretty fun, I guess. Freaking era, I hold my baby 24 seven. That's a workout. Yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, really. How long have you been together? Sam's asking. Also, welcome to the chat, Sam. Good to have you here. I hope my battery actually doesn't go out because I have it charging right now and it might overheat. I've never really used this camera, so I hope it's good again. Um, What's this? Oh, I need a bag. Yeah, make sure I'm gonna go for a nice little doo doo on the grass here. I mean, I have to answer Sam's question. We have been together for almost three years. Almost. This almost. December. This December. Feels like an eternity. I definitely feel like we were together in a past life. Yeah. Like I said, like we met on a camel, and we in a past life we could have met on like a horse and buggy somewhere, you know what I mean? So like we could have... Wow, look at this! What's in there? Bunch of caterpillars. Whoa! They're gonna hatch. They're gonna get you. That is so cool. Whoa. I don't know if there's more. <laughs> How cool. Um, I'm I've never seen that before. Gregory, I'm welcome. Wow, I can't speak. Gregory, welcome back. I hope you're feeling better with COVID. I hope you've recovered. Um, December, what's our anniversary, Bob? 21st. Mm, that's right. Very good. All right, that's Very enough cool. of that. <laughs> caterpillars. <laughs> All these caterpillars just doing their own thing. Oh my God. Yo, you can see into that so much better oh, yeah. from this angle. Oh yeah, and this just leads you back to the trail. Cool. Very cool. Alright, let's go spend some time in our cabin. Alright, so we'll see how far we can go with this rolling. We'll do like a minor investigation, just like a minor one. Maybe some spirit box or whatever. Thank you, thank you, Slingman 4 for the donation. That's very sweet. Slingman 4. Slingman 4, yeah. Thank you. Um, someone says you seem like you're really compatible, which I think every couple should be. Definitely we are very compatible, but every couple needs to work through things, right? So this is we're ours. not perfect. No, no we're not is. perfect. No one's really perfect, man. Ours? Yeah. So uh, Hey! <laughs> See there. Okay, there we go. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Hey, Can ghost man. Up? Man in the trench coat. Here, let's sit up in the caboose. Whoa. So, yeah, I'll explain to you guys what's happening here. This is how it's so confusing because 
I have to set some sort of thing on my computer now, which like at first I wanted to really live stream off of this thing, but it was such a pain in the, it was just horrible. So I'm glad I got it working. Try to go up. It's really warm up there. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. There we go. All right. All right. Check that out. I guess we'll go to the end. Yo, this is so cool. I feel like a conductor. You are. You being like chill. So at one point, a conductor was here, chilling. What was the exact role of a conductor? I'm not very educated on trains sometimes. I think you just controlled the train. He just conducted? He just conducted, I guess. Guys, can you tell me what a conductor is? <laughs> he conducted, that's all. Oh, I don't know, maybe Michelle. this is it. That's so sweet. Michelle just donated $40 and said this is for your breakfast tomorrow. Oh my god, you guys don't have to Aww. do that. That's really, really Appreciate sweet. Appreciate that. The heck is that? It's like a pocket knife. This is so cool. Imagine doing like Estes method up here. I think that's what we're gonna do. Except you can't turn them. But may, might put the camera leg right there. Do your legs fit perfectly too? No. <laughs> Mine will not, no. I think this train was made for me. Yeah. And that little caboose over there too. The orange yeah, one is definitely for you. I thought that's what I was renting for the night. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we rent the little mini Tiny one caboose. for my girlfriend? <laughs> that would uh, be funny. James, that's so nice too. James donated fifty dollars. Oh my god, you guys, you guys are the really You guys don't, don't have, have to, to do that. Like seriously. We really appreciate it, and like we love all the support. But honestly, you guys just being with us, chatting with us, is so fun. Just chilling. That's appreciate Aww. that, man. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, James. guys. Um, we are spending the night here. Sorry, that was <laughs> a full ADHD moment. Yep. Yeah. Urbex Pass Masters said, are y'all spending the night? Yes. So basically, like I said, I don't know if you guys missed this, but we got an email. And we've been looking into this for like, since we've got to the East Coast. And we got this email saying that this woman, Martha, had an experience here. So I reached out to her, or I responded back. And we're here now like this is like she really recommended it yeah she was saying like you should look into this location so uh thank you clark a conductor controls the train and supervises the rest of the crew yeah basically like runs the train right yeah thank you I appreciate well, yo player let's go <laughs> yes christina we're both in our 20s or 30s but that's all we're gonna say no fine lamar is actually 82 i am a gold digger i am 18 years old I'm a big cougar. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Yanair is asking if I will be doing the Estes method. We'll see. We haven't really gotten to the connection just got lost. Oh, are we still back? Uh, yeah, we're we're good. I think it's just a little delayed. Chicken nuggets. What if I were? Hello, Elena Boos. There we go. Um, have Trina asked, have y'all ever thought about doing a spirit box session with people who want to reach loved ones? Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I've never thought about it, but I mean, yeah, if we could help people that way, obviously I, I would like to do something like that. It'd be nice. Yo, Michelle, you don't have to do that again. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, like. It's okay. I, we both really appreciate that. We really appreciate that. that. Thank you. As well as everyone else yes or even like being in the chat is just unreal yeah honestly guys thank you all um alicia make sure to read effie's last comment because she had a really good way to kind of help you with your sleeping connection has been screwy for a bit okay so let's get out of this caboose i think it's screwing with the connection okay how long have we been on live 
as well? 58 minutes. Okay. It seems good to us. The connection hasn't really... Maybe check the quality of the resolution of the live stream. Don't want to fall here. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I think the connection's been good. What's going on, people? Oh, it's Hello, all new people Hi. popping in. All right, so I haven't really showed you guys this room yet. So we got a bathroom here. What's up, T Tasha Cat? What's going on? Became a new clan member. Hell yeah! I did not even realize a shower. Got a shower in here. It's cut. I can't even talk. It's kind of weird to kind of imagine at one point in life there were passengers on here soldiers you know family members kids grandparents like yo there were passengers on here at one point like this is so cool yeah Yo, Leslie, member for 11 months. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That's almost a year, man. Oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll set this up right here. I hope it's nice and good. Reply to some of you guys. Yes. I think I'm gonna order a pizza. Chelsea's gonna order a pizza. Member for 15 months, Michelle McCreary. Thank you. <laughs> Come over here with me. Where should we put everyone? Lamar, can you fit in the shower? I think so. Go try it. It was so, it was so much better. Yeah. Here, let's see. We'll fit both of us Ooh. right here. There we go. All right. Okay, pizza. You said there is a pizza store around here? Pizza don't near spot. Pizza, pizza near me. Yo, what's good, Keely? Yo, go and watch Keely's videos if you guys like food. And if you want to see a like, really cute new dog and you oh, want to yeah. cry because she got the cutest freaking dog, go watch it. So cute! Ugh. That's how I feel about it. So cute. When are you going to come to the U.S.? Probably. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. We're just kind of taking things a little slow just because we did just get Kia. So yeah. tonight is her first night of actually ever being away from us. So we're gonna see how that goes, and then once we kind of see how that goes, then we'll be able to plan some yeah. trips. Yeah, and like, we do have some trips planned, like I said, and yeah. we kind of have to leave her alone. Well, not so. alone. What was that? That was a door. Did you get, no, that was a, that was a, like, mm. pressure on the floor. Yeah. I thought it was like a pressure on the door. No. Mm. Interesting. Listen. That was someone like literally standing right there. You know when you walk on the hardwood floor, it creaks. Yeah. Go over there, see if it happens. See, I heard it like a, like a pressure. See, it was like this. Like this. Like Wait. No, it wasn't that. That was like someone stepping on the ground. And the floor creaked. Hmm. Oh, I appreciate that. Tashi cat. 
Mine. We will buy her a lot of treats with that. Appreciate that, honestly. Like I said, guys, you don't have to donate mm. anything to us. But Kia will love treats. I don't think she'll ever turn down treats. No. <laughs> ever. <laughs> and she'd love you for it, yeah, too, she right? Would. So. She would. We got her, like, um... This new beef bone. So we just go to like the butcher and we just buy like the beef bone that you would like use for soups and stuff. The one that still has like the good meaty parts on it. And we took her out for a long hike and we wanted her to be like super stimulated. So we got back and gave her the bone and she chewed on that bone for like three, four hours straight. Oh my she god. She was yeah. so happy and when she came back to the room she had the biggest smile on and was just so cute, you know? So cute to just watch her devour that bone. From Chile. Chile, wow. Smith Falls, Ontario. What's going on? There's something similar to this in Smith Falls, actually. But it's not accessible, I don't think. Yeah, you can rent it, I'm pretty sure. You can sleep in it. I think you have to rent it on Airbnb. A train? Yeah, it's the one in Smith Falls, that train station there. We were going to do it before we moved, but it didn't work out. No, that's the thing, I think. In the daytime, you can visit that. It's like a museum. And then at night you can sleep in it. Really? Yeah, you can rent it on Airbnb. Check it out. If you're in Smith Falls, they do have something similar to this. So keep an that eye one's haunted cool. too because that one is haunted as some well. Some guy like died in there or something yes, when it was right. abandoned or something. That is right. So. Thank you, Michelle. Um. Yeah, that's cute, Sam. I love when people do that kind of stuff for dogs. Um, yeah, so I do have obsidian crystal in my camera bag usually when we're doing explores, and I think some in his as well. Elena asked, is Canada money the same as U.S. money? Uh, no, so actually no. our currency is different. U.S. money is, um, it's cheaper in the States pretty much. Here, yeah. like, the conversion rate's pretty intense right now. So, for example, like, if I were to buy something in the States and it is, say, $40, it's actually, like, 60 60 70. 60 70 bucks or like if I wanted to buy say a dress and it was like 280 it's actually going to be like closer to like three four hundred dollars yeah so the conversion rate's pretty shitty it happened again it did hello can you make something move anything make anything move Are you the ghost man? Or the man in the trench coat with the device? If you're the man in the trench coat, somebody saw you, can you make yourself known and show yourself? You can tap. My heart's pounding for some reason. Turn on the shower, move a curtain. Thank you for okay. tapping. Wow, you guys had to have heard that tap. Are you from the time? Elena just said, I thought Chelsea was by the window. I saw a shadow. There's just another tap from back oh, here. Chelsea was like right here. I'm right here, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Thank you so much. Oh, Alicia, I hope everything is okay with you, and I'm glad that we're able to keep your mind off of things for a little bit while you're with us. Um, just out of curiosity, how much is gas in Canada? So, just to give you, like, an example, um, I know it's different in the States. It's, it's by not liter. Cheap. Gas is high. Um, we go, no, you guys go by gallons in gallons. the States. We go by liters. So, it is, right now, in the Maritimes, it's $2.04. It was two oh eight. This time last year was 129 around there. Yeah. Like it was crazy. And then at one point, it was like 67 cents. Very early on COVID. When COVID, yeah, it was like 67 very cents. Very early on. Um, yeah, like last summer, it was about 130. Some places about this time, a yeah. little less than 130. It's not cheap. I mean, it's pretty equivalent to what you guys are paying out in the States or other countries for sure. Um. 
Our voices are out. How do you say her name? Give her a shout out. Kiala? Ki Kiala? Kiala Hansi? Is that how you say your name? Did we say it right? If so, let us know. 215 in Quebec. 215? Oh my gosh. It's almost $6 here in Cali. Six dollars a gallon. Yo, when we went to the States in 2020, it was like two, 260 or something, 230 per gallon. It was crazy cheap. Cost us like $20 to like fill our tank. Hello, hello, Denise. Crazy. Welcome, welcome. Alicia, if you ever feel like you need someone to talk to, my DMs are literally always open. I may not answer right away, but I will look for your messages for sure. That goes for anyone, honestly. Both of yeah. us, our DMs are always open. If you're struggling with something and you just want to talk, literally, like, we're always here for any of you guys. You guys are here for us, and it's a two-way street. We are here for you guys, too. Look um, at that. Oh, Let's wow. Turn off some rope here. Our, can you put our socials in, in the description? I think they are right now. Okay, yeah, they should be in the description, but if not, um, yeah, I'll put them in that. Lamar's Instagram is Lamar Men's, and mine is Lacey Decay. Mm -mm -mm. Is there your battery? That was in the corner. Yeah. And you guys are family to us. Elena says that's what we love why we love you both you are family to us your family to us too honestly like yeah we for real couldn't be where we are without every you guys. single one of you guys are yeah there is should we do a necrophonic session real quick okay but then I want pizza guys okay, so. yeah we won't stay on here for too much longer we're, we're just kind of we're actually gonna pizza. start investigating pretty soon yeah after we get food that thing is like going off right now look at that can you bring it over here? Do, 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 do. Yeah. Can sit? I'm gonna get a pizza going. Are you the conductor? Why don't you go into the chat and I'll turn on my um, Okay, sure. Necrophonic. I'm gonna exit the chat there for a sec. Okay, one sec, I'll open it. Someone's trying to reach out to us. We'll do like a quick investigation. Just like a little spirit box ish. Who's here with us? I'll move that. So it's not contaminating that. What the hell was that? <gasps> Just I heard that. Right here. Who's in here? It's like going faster and faster. Somebody. Tell us your name. Did you used to conduct here? Are you the, are you the man in the trench coat? We're friendly, it's okay. Spirit box is like 
really low. Let's do like a minute or two. That sounds good. We'll head out here. Okay. Tell us your name. What did that say? I don't know. Bruce? Are you the man in the trench coat? I think that's a yeah. yeah. Can you tell us your name? So I don't know if you know this, but nowadays we can connect with hundreds of people across the world and through our device right now, there's a lot of people that want to hear you and see you and talk to you. Are you setting the K2 off? Someone's trying to reach out to us. We'll probably carry that on normally. Whoa. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> um, yeah. What? What? I'm sorry, I was going to check something. I don't want to say anything. What? I don't really know. I just saw something black just like dart across this window here. But like a shadow? Yeah, I thought it was like a car, so I went out to see if there's any like black car that just drove by. But I didn't see, I don't see any black cars that drove by, no people. But I legitimately saw something, I don't know what it was, just pass by the window. Wait, I need to, I need to check something because I need to see if I can debunk this or not. I'm gonna, okay. I'm little, but I'm gonna walk past this window and see if you can see me at all, okay? Okay. What if it's like the black trench coat guy? Can you appear to us? Yeah. I can see you. So could you see me? Yeah. <laughs> I could. So you could see me when I walked out there? Yeah, your hands. You could see my hands because I went like yeah. this? Yeah. He was probably taller, maybe. I mean, I'm five feet. I mean, so. people back in the day were actually kind of short. So that's kind of weird. It, it was like, honestly, I don't know. All I saw was just something black that just go out by the window. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you cool. pick up any messages or whatever? Or? I just want pizza. <laughs> That's all you I'm want. I'm really right hungry. Now. To be all right, so we might actually end this off now. Appreciate no, everyone who. No, there are still some um, questions that I wanted to get through. Okay. So let's spend a couple more, and then we'll go. Okay. Thank you, Doreen. I really um, appreciate that. I also wanted to send my condolences to Dakota. Uh, she lost her grandmother, and that's never easy. So I'm sending all my love and condolences to you, Dakota, and your family as well. Um, so some of the other apps that we do use for, uh, on our phones, uh, yeah. Dead Wave. Uh, Ghost Vox, which comes with the SLS. Um, it's kind of a hit or miss with that, but it has been interesting. Uh, the SLS is cool. There's an Ovilus on that. We've gotten really cool answers on that. 
There's that again. Renee says, give the girl pizza. Yeah, we're gonna head out once you're ready. Mike says he's having pizza. Share, Mike. <laughs> um, Carol says, when are we gonna see your lovely black dog again? Um, you're gonna see Kia in the next vlog. She'll be involved in the next one for yeah. sure. She's just at a sleepover right now with her grandparents. Foxy, it's my last try. I say hello from Germany. Hello! Hey! Hello! So by the way, tell me guys if the live's been working better than last time because last time was kind of like, eh, eh. Like, yeah. I tried to, this is my first time doing it. So let me know down in the, uh, Hi Gary. Right now. Hello Gary. So many like not like knocking and taps. Yeah. So I think tonight we might have to do like tap once for yes tap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we will. That way. Is it two taps for yes, one tap for no? I always forget this. My brain can't comprehend. Yeah, it. I don't know. Whatever yeah, tap know, freaking works. I know a lot of you guys know. Um, what is it? One tap for yes or two taps for yes? Let me know down in the comments. Please and thank you. I need help. Mm. Brian says feed the lady. <laughs> Alright, well, you ready to go? No, I haven't even ordered the pizza. So why don't we well, stay online? And order the pizza. Ready. It's already 8.30. We gotta get this going soon, so... Okay, here. Let's order now. Um, Alright, so. Just keep it on. Let's hang out. Yeah, I guess we'll yeah, we'll hang out for a little bit. It's been how long? An hour and twenty minutes. Holy. <gasps> poutine! Who? Poutine. No. I'm kidding. Who here loves poutine? If you or are, knows what that is. Or knows what poutine is. It's like a staple thing here in Canada. In Canada. Oh my god, they have shawarma. Yeah, they have a donair place. It's the we have to pick it up. But. Yeah. Okay, so let's get a pizza. Let's see, let's see. There's called the North Shore Works, which is salami, pepperoni, mushrooms, Ooh. onion, green pepper, hamburger. Nope, can't do it. What kind of pizza do you want? Just order anything. Okay, it's between barbecue chicken, which is barbecue sauce, chicken, Whoa. tomatoes, and onions. Or, this one looks good, the Italian. It's Italian sausage on salami and Italian. I think we're buffering. We might be buffering here. Alright, then, I guess. I don't want to leave. It's buffering! Two taps for no. All right, I think we're buffering here. So we might officially wrap this up. Appreciate you guys tuning into another vlog. Vlog, a live stream. Wait, um, people don't know what poutine is. Oh, this girl wants to eat, but she won't give me, give me, leave. Give me. <laughs> guys, I'm having a good time hanging out. Okay, let me put you on this, my fellow American friends or people who are not Canadian. And everywhere else, poutine, you need to have it. Knock. Pronounce poutine. Poutine. It is French fries, delicious. Gravy, delicious. And and cheese. What was that? Delicious. That was the conductor probably. He wants poutine as well. So yeah, you put them all together in one, and it is so good. So good. Ten out of ten. Recommend. All right. Some people are saying stay live. It's buffering. Well, it was buffering. Like, oh, okay. It seems to be good now. We're good now, right? Pretty sure. Thank you, Margaret. That's very sweet. Even her grandbaby watches us. No, and she's only three. Cute. That's cute. Wow, James, you have a good memory. Yeah. That's so cute, honestly. Thanks, James. Okay, yes, I'm gonna order the pizza. Yeah, so this is where we're probably gonna let you guys go, honestly. I think um, we're gonna get our stuff set up, you know, 
pop some POV cams around the spot. And hopefully we can actually get the man in the trench coat. I'm really hoping so. Cause man, some, like as soon as we started asking out for the spirits, some sort of ticks and stuff happened. So like that. All right. All right, guys, we're officially gonna head out of here. Appreciate you guys tuning into this live, man. Like, it was a last minute thing. So, appreciate you guys for being here. I know a lot of you guys really try and make these, but we really like. Why can't we hang out longer? Because you gotta set up. We literally gotta set up. We gotta get stuff ready. We might have to drive to the place. I think there's no delivery, so we gotta drive. All right. So, yeah, tune into the next video, probably up this week when we get back probably start editing that um but as far as that goes 270 people right now that is unreal that is 284 Alrighty, we love you guys so much we thank you here. for being here Yay. we'll try and catch this man in the trench coat and possibly whoever maybe there's some children so yeah Alrighty guys, peace and love. Bye guys. <laughs> Chels is over there. Oh man. Chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right.